All right, let's get into oh, the man. WrestleMania 15 <laughs> rage party. Rage. 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 This is uh, so. This was a Tony idea. So if this goes, this bad, is a Patreon's uh, dude. So many. I don't. Sure, this was I can't a lot go, of people's I can't go back idea. to the main person who suggested it because so many people have said, "Dude, have you seen this? Have you seen this rage party thing?" And I was like, "There's no way this is good." Like they're. So it was, yeah, it was definitely something I saw suggested, and I was like, I don't know if we could do something on that. And then Tony said, let's give it a try. And then I watched it, and I said, and I was looking at my notes, because we were talking, I was like, I looked at my notes, I was like, I have written a decent amount down for yeah, this yeah, show, yeah, yeah. so I think this is okay. I think this could work. This is yeah. the most fucked up intro I've ever seen in my life. This is unbelievable. It is rage, <laughs> and then phased out in in shots of ass cheeks, and then the Undertaker. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the fuck is Kane, happening? Kane here? was in the intro for the rage party. <laughs> Rock and Austin and Undertaker and Kane. I think Draws may have been in it as well. Are you yeah. telling Just me that Kane <laughs> is Kane up in the club like Dirt he was, in, he was in the club. He was, invited, he was in, he was in bro. the club. He was up in the club, too. He was smoking on that clue pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a hat. Fleddy Kluger oh, and his hat. Shit. Yeah, dude, this is un like the intro alone to the show is unbelievable. It's yeah. it's all it's, it's it's a custom WrestleMania 15 rage song, and then genuinely club scenes, like a scene from a movie, just club shots of people dancing in ass cheek and titties, and then you just see Undertaker's big fucking head float into the screen. <laughs> oh, and, and Stone Cold Masquerita Zoom Sagrada. In. Yeah, with the ladies. With the ladies. It's the same vibes, though. It's the same vibes for real. Yeah, it no, is very. It is. Much like that episode of Shotgun. A uh, lot of fucking pyro. This is in, of course, Philadelphia. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> you were there. Well, at this time, I was seven years old, so I don't know. <laughs> How long did you drive there? from Newark? It's what do you mean? I'm in Philly, you fucking piece of <laughs> shit. This is at the Philly Convention Center, which is 20 minutes from me. Thank you. Wow. Very much. Okay. In Philly, also me. <laughs> yeah, they had so, the Survivor Series Deadly Game Skull. Dude, just I, know, I knew reason, you would love that for no reason at all. I I knew I was like James is gonna love that they just transported the, the Deadly in the world. Games. Why though? Why? Why? Is I have no cause idea. Because it's, I think it's cool shit ever. Because it's sweet. Why not? It is fucking cool. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, and that is the show. I mean, it, it is Deadly Games was when The Rock turned corporate. So I don't know if that's what it was or just because it looked cool. I think because it, 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 it looked cool. sweet. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pyro, big fucking stage, big oh, skull, a lot guess, of people. I guess I can put this in perspective. Like, I don't think the fan. Ac they call it access now. Is that what it is, or whatever the rest of it is? Yes. So it's. I don't yeah, think that think was so. a thing yet, right? Or they didn't no. do. They didn't if, do anything if like it that was, yet. If it was, it was on like such a smaller scale than it like is now. Yeah, because like, I'm not a, like an event. It was like a meet and greet fucking thing. Because looking at that, they like they would have that skull at like fan access now. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, I was looking around just for any info I could find on this, other than it being like in Philly and all. And I uh, saw in Squared Circle, there was a thread about this specifically, and somebody in the comments from eight years ago, Bad News Brown says, I was there. Since WrestleMania was sold out, uh, WrestleMania 15 is the next night, by the way, <laughs> in Philly. Yeah. Since WrestleMania was sold out, it was my only opportunity to see any WWF wrestler live and in person. My stupid 14-year-old ass paid for an $80 ticket for entry into the event. <laughs> Although I do remember seeing Maya, Disturbed, and Big Pun perform live, which we did not see fucking Disturbed. <laughs> yeah, no Disturbed. Uh, no. Uh, not going to hate completely, though. Catering was awesome, and for some reason, they had Doc Hendricks signing autographs in the big hallway. WWE still owes us. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. So, 80 bucks to get into this thing. Uh, in the sea of fucking people jumping around. People had signs. A lot of them were fucking crazy. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, like, they knew what this was. You think they, like, think it was going to be, like, a club party, or they thought it was going to be, like, a WWF style, like, there's the going to be, like, a or show? people WWF? Or, like, the people who came, because why the fuck would you bring signs to the club? <laughs> yeah, <why would> you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, rate, like... They've never done, I don't think they've ever done anything like that. So you would assume it's just like, oh, WWF, we're going to see some wrestling. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, there was not no, any wrestling. Different. Yes, completely. Well, uh, I don't know. There might have been. There was Disturbed and we didn't see that. So there might have been some nah, wrestling. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Fuck, man. I want to see Disturbed. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd they should have sweet. invented the Stone Cold theme there. They show shots of the crowd, of course, and everyone is just flipping off the camera. <laughs> yeah, <that's awesome. laughs> just, just fucking constantly people flipping off the camera. And then. No chance. Fucking Vince's music hits, and I'm like, all right, starting off hot here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, th there's a gigantic. Is it a? Would you call this a poster? What would you call that big thing of the rock? Trust backdrop. It, okay, it's that's similar to exactly the what it was. Uh, the uh, Triple H. Was it not the same one they used at Survivor Series? It might or have after been. That, maybe? I was thinking McMahon Helmsley era type thing. Yes, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, big poster of the fucking Rock or Trust backdrop, excuse me, with the uh, with Rock with the title. Um, <laughs> they, they, so the fucking corporation's music is playing, and they're showing this shot of the stairs on this like upper level, mm -hmm. and they're I guess they're waiting for the corporation, <laughs> and very DPW style, some random woman just walks down the stairs, <laughs> <in> the <laughs> casually walking down the stairs, just, give a fuck. Yeah, just walks down the fucking stairs. Ah, oh, fuck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck. This was uh, all live, by the way. So I wasn't sure at first, because I was like, the mute, the sound, like, this was obviously edited in a sense that, like, the sound was way shittier in person, and you could hear it, but, like, because the, the songs were dubbed over on this show. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but it was live, uh, done live, though. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because so was... uh, there, there were cues and everything, so, like, this was very yeah. live. Yeah, you can hear it. I'm yeah. not even, like, there was sometimes where I wasn't even sure if the crowd could hear the music because like later on way later on on the show when austin shows up like his shit's playing and no one's reacting at all like the like, austin oh. theme song yes 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 right yes. like mm, yeah. his, his yeah, tron's yeah, playing his music is playing and like no one's they were reacting no one's to just... the glass shatter yeah okay they were maybe probably all yeah. blasted and Actually, drunk and hanging out <laughs> and... <laughs> we'll talk were, about it but the, smoking? the lead in is stone cold wasn't very good either so you know That's... they might have they might killed the crowd no, it was <laughs> we'll talk about that they might have killed the crowd so the corporation come down here. It's, it's what a what a fucking <laughs> what a posse this is. I don't I don't know. I don't think I have everyone. It's Shane, Vince, Paul White, Test, the Boss Man, Ken Shamrock. Uh, eventually, Kane is in this mix. <laughs> <don't> yeah, <laughs> he's just Open just a, a <laughs> bunch of fucked up fuckers. Uh, Shane is dancing. Posse was there to too, the weren't they? Or were they not? Posse like was in the pit. <laughs> they couldn't come to this. <laughs> they were in the pit. <laughs> uh, Shane is dancing to the corporation theme. As Tony said, there's just fucking asshole chants for all of them. It's so loud. It's awesome. So, does, did Vince talk here, or does it go right to the next thing? They I don't think do. It they goes, don't do anything. It? They just. They just okay. appear. So they're setting this up as like <laughs> this is the corporation's balcony that they're gonna hang out under this rock poster. Yeah, they're setting it up. Of they're, course. Also, yes. there is a Stone Cold balcony, I guess, somewhere, but we don't. There's see it till multiple later. balconies. So many balconies that multiple different characters show up on. Yeah. yeah. And then there's Mean, mean Street Posse and the PMS and the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, okay, what is Vince going to say? Ah, Philadelphia. No, no, no. We don't get any of that. We get Doc Hendricks on the uh, Michael Hay Michael? <laughs> Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes on the Michael. microphone. <laughs> he says, Philadelphia, give it up for the voice of Chef from South Park, <laughs> the legendary Isaac Hayes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, there's no way this is actually Chef from South Park. And then. <laughs> He spoke one word. And I go, yep, that is Chef Hello, from there, South Park. Yeah, when, when it says Isaac Hayes, his nameplate comes up and it goes, Rage! <laughs> <laughs> Every time so, the nameplate comes up, it goes, Rage! It, it's so weird. I don't know. I wonder who made Is that a, is that, that's a disturbed song, too? Probably that was them, yeah. Alive? No, Bobby, yeah. no! <laughs> that's what it should have been called. Don't rage again! <laughs> <laughs> so, it cuts to Isaac Hayes on the stage. He's uh, sitting behind the piano. His whole band is there. And it, I felt like they were having, like, a technical difficulty at first because it sounded like he was saying, turn my headset up. Yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't even know, I don't think they knew it. They, they didn't start right away, so they're like, uh... Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, what is my... Uh, what uh, Michael Hayes, what is Isaac Hayes <laughs> gonna play here? No relation. And Deb says, oh, I should play Chocolate Salty Balls. I was like, that'd be fucking hilarious. Anyway, Mike, Isaac Hayes plays Chocolate Salty Balls. <laughs> There's no way they're going to introduce <laughs> Chef from South Park and not and have I, him play Chocolate Salty I Balls. I couldn't believe it, man. Holy I was like, maybe he has like an shit. album or yeah, something yeah, yeah. coming out or he something. Does. Like, yeah, <laughs> the South Park one. <laughs> yeah. Dude, huge pop for Chocolate Salty Balls. The crowd is dancing to it. This is a fucking fever dream. Fucking suck on my chocolate. Vince McMahon is dancing to Chocolate Salty Balls. Yeah, that's 
that's what you call that was what he was doing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> Shane McMahon was going left and right. You see that shit? I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> dude, dude, Shane is inventing the Shane shuffle on this show. <laughs> Boss man is staring at him Shane, like, what is wrong? Shane is I'm going to put him loaded. over this balcony. Shane got fucking drunk as fuck for this party. He is ready to Vince go. Vince turned into a chicken and started <laughs> fucking pecking at the balcony. I don't know Shane's, what is fucking going on. Shane's 20s had to have been so fun. They just Holy had to be hell. Like, hell like, yeah. And, and, and like a top 10 20s of all time, Shane's definitely probably going to be up there. You're, you're, oh my God, yes. You're like the lead the European champion at this point. He's, he's drunk champion. and he's wearing the European championship the whole, <laughs> the whole show. The whole show. <laughs> Chocolate Le- salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> suck on my big balls. And Shane's like, suck fuck on yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> I like that. Ah, chocolate. <laughs> salty balls. So <laughs> suck on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is fucking insane, man. Suck this on is, my job. This, on his mouth. There's a millionaire is, just bobbing his head to this fucking dude, ball song. This is the owner of the company and his son, and they're drunk dancing to chocolate salty balls before WrestleMania. <laughs> they were like, we, we are unfucking touchable. Nobody can they, touch they, us oh, at this yeah, point. <laughs> Stick my do. balls in your mouth. <laughs> This is good. Fucking ball. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine the fucking owner and CEO of a fucking corporation right now today Bro, I, dancing to chocolate salty if, balls? <laughs> like they'd be canceled now, hold on now. immediately. If, if Tony, if Tony Khan did this exact thing, this would be the most base thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my balls, chocolate balls. <laughs> Tell them to play chocolate them. salty balls. <laughs> if they don't play it, I'm going home. Oh yeah, encore. <laughs> See, I'm gonna make love to your woman. <laughs> I'm in love to your woman. Yeah, I'm in you down, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> This is so fucked, I man. Said this shit rules. That's all I wrote down. This it's is unbelievable. The most base thing ever. Holy this, shit. I, if we could ever open a show like this, <laughs> we would be made, man. Yeah, this we got is... Chef from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just us three dancing. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, fuck. man. And now uh, Eric Emanuel with they, chocolate salty balls. <laughs> that Tubby movie was hit. I would, dude, if we could get Tubby back out here for fire and I want him to sing, I'm going to make love to you, woman. I'm going to make love to you, woman. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. He'd dude, this is... Too. This is fucking insane. It cuts to the crowd. They're dancing. There's people just holding up Sable's Playboy. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know what people thought this show was going to be. <laughs> don't they cut to the crowd? Are people signing autographs too at this time when the music's playing? Or yeah, is that- yeah, like Jerry Lawler and JR are in the crowd signing shit. Shout go my chocolate. <laughs> they, zoom in, they zoom in to draw us like 100 feet away in this big top hat. <laughs> what, what Suck on my balls. Suck on my chocolate not, salty and balls. Not only, not only did we get chocolate salty balls, but I feel like this was the extended version because he starts <laughs> just doing bits. He did, the, he did the whole song. Like, no joke. Like, even the bits that only make sense in the context of the episode, he did those bits. Here. He said, what is that burning? I smell something. Oh, uh, dude, I don't give a he, shit. The music in the show bits <laughs> is the song. The music gets really no soft. Visual. He's like, what's, yeah. that, what's that burning? Uh, I smell that burning. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a shit as long as I have to get paid and get money for my rent. What? <laughs> yeah. Woo. Come on, bitch. Uh, Put then, them in your mouth. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. They they they're showing Jerry Lawler and Jr. signing autographs. Isaac Hayes saying, "You just burned my balls. I'll put them in your mouth." <laughs> what the fuck is that? That was pretty good. Yeah. I love <laughs> Put him in your mouth, bitch. Suck up. <laughs> Suck up. <laughs> He's getting into it. He's going crazy. If it was only. This beginning fucking ten minutes, I would have been happy. <laughs> Holy this shit! Is yeah, this perfect. is the most insane thing. Like, if you want to describe like '90s wrestling attitude era, there's like, oh my this. god, this is entirely it. Yeah. Holy uh, shit! So. I mean, it was it was like uh, like they didn't give a fuck about anything back then. Like no way. they didn't care about what the outside public thought or like any you know any other sponsorship or corporation or whatever. Like they were just fucking going with the flow. Like it it was. It was it a was different fun. monster back then. You can yeah. tell, yeah, yeah you can um, tell Vince is fucking going crazy up there. Like he's having a good time. He loves this shit. 
<laughs> I assume it's not so much like that anymore. No way, bro. You think, <laughs> I wonder Could you imagine Vince... them coming out on Raw next week and going, we're going to sing Chocolate Salty Balls in its entirety. <laughs> Right after the Elias match. <laughs> oh, no way he has a match on Raw. <laughs> yes, uh, it's two unrealistic things then. <laughs> Isaac Hayes ends the song. Everyone is fucking going crazy. And then you smell. <laughs> <laughs> fucking here it comes not only uh oh no the, so the rock comes here but it shows it, the big show there in fubu shirt and big chain oh, <laughs> shit. he's out of control <laughs> that wrestlemania Lions paycheck main... about to hit crazy <laughs> holy hell he's going crazy bro so the rock comes down the stairs here in a crazy fucking gold sh lion shirt wow. with the wwf title do you like they would show shots like from the crowd up to where the corporation was. Do you think people actually could see anything? No, up no, because they do. They do a really wide shot at one point where you it's see like people in the back. You can see <laughs> shit. There's no spotlight or anything on them. Hi. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I think Rockets they just had the, the wrestlers come out and do their gimmicks as a formality. I don't think they want to do any of this shit. No, probably not. Well, they just, they, you, do you think WWF put this on or do you think it was like a company that approached them and said, Hey, we can do this thing and you can make money. No, I think uh, you is, could convince me this was a Shane project. Uh, yeah. I guarantee it was awesome. Hey, we can wow. promote WrestleMania. We can do a hey, big Dad, rage party. I got Isaac Hayes's number. <laughs> trying to get drunk. <laughs> ah, <tonight. I> <laughs> <laughs> Rockets on the mic. and says, finally, the great one has come back to his home away from home. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, I did not know that this was The Rock's home away from home. So that's very nice. That's awesome. Rock says, Stone Cold. Why would you care? Shut the hell up, You're Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> why, why must you come on this show and lie? We don't do that on this show. <laughs> you already, you already lied about that. Mrs. Baba. You lied about well, a lot of stuff. Why don't you suck? <laughs> Oh, my balls. Balls. <laughs> Something's burning. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Something smells. Please. You smell. <laughs> I thought that's what it was going to be. Yeah, I thought not. he was teasing the rock. No, my balls are on fire. Please suck them. <laughs> okay, bro. The so rock says, Stone Cold, last week on Raw, you hit the big show. Not one, not two but three times with a chair. Stone Cold is obviously the biggest piece of Texas trailer park trash <laughs> walking. <laughs> you wish you had to deal with the big show. You wish you had Paul White on your side, but uh, uh. <laughs> The Rock has a special room for you, and it does say 316, and he will check your monkey ass into the SmackDown Hotel. Directly. Like WrestleMania 15. <laughs> directly into... <laughs> WrestleMania 15, The Rock guarantees tease to you that The Rock lives for two things. Prove to be the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today, and The Rock lives to kick your monkey ass all over God's green earth if you smell... Philly, this is not a sing-along with the champ. <laughs> <laughs> if you smell what The Rock is cooking. <laughs> and this is the first time we see Kane with fucking unsoaked hair. It's out a mile fucking wide. He's in full gimmick. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm losing my mind now. <laughs> Kane's chilling. Full mask. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited Kane to this fucking party, man? Shane, he was with him the whole night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm imagining Kane. You know the hook video? <laughs> the, oh the my god. Kane just slapping cheeks. They didn't show it, but I, I know for a fact Kane was back there. Suck on my dog. <laughs> Suck on my dog. Suck my balls. <laughs> Suck my big red balls. <laughs> or I'm going to set him on fire. <laughs> on What's fire. that burning? <laughs> that my balls? That's Kane. <laughs> Smells. <laughs> <laughs> Smelly balls. Kane. <laughs> you smell. I know Kane was back there talking about some. Kane is on fire. So, Kane, what are you talking about back there, bro? You said. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> Smoking that Glenn pack? I'm all about that. That good, good. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb I stay, guess? Oh shit. We're introducing, <laughs> we're introducing prop comedy to Deadlock. Let us know if you like it. I got a rubber chicken over here. You want me to get it? <laughs> 
Just try and bitch try at this point. Try one more time for the people, James. Just <laughs> take another hit. Come on. One more take time. another hit for the people. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! God. Wow! That's look that at that cloud. cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if this bit's good, please. <laughs> We're and trying that, some new stuff. And that out. was Kane up in the cloud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to that brother. Amen to that brother. Good job. Good job. I like it. I like it. Well, then they go to the uh, the entrance of this place, and it's people still trying to get into this party. This place is fucking packed. I don't know. I don't know if this was filmed earlier. Yeah, I'm or, assuming so. I'm, what? I'm assuming because uh, this kind of reminds you like the Bobby Heenan getting into the. It was exactly yeah, like yeah, that. That's a Bobby Heenan line, of course. Yeah. Um, Stooges are trying to get into the building. It's Joe Briscoe and Pat Patterson. Uh, the Ticketman is not letting them through because they don't have tickets. And Pat Patterson says, "Hey, I was the first Intercontinental <laughs> Champion." <laughs> the ticket guy does not give a fuck. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job, man. And then the fans start yelling at Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson. Briscoe and, uh, says something like, I was a All-State champion or something like that, too, as well. <laughs> I, I signed Jack Swagger. <laughs> so we then go backstage to the makeup room, and Sable is getting her makeup done for her big appearance on this show, which was a big appearance for sure. And then... <laughs> who the fuck is this? <laughs> Are you Dweezil, about Dweezil? And Ahmed Zappa? Yeah, come on. <laughs> who, 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 who? Come on. Who? 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 Come on. Who is These Dweezil? These guys are ready to rumble. And, and, Were they? Yeah, and they got their new show coming out here. The Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Dweezil and Were they Ahmed? actually in front of the rumble? Yeah, they were ready to rumble. Is, is he the guy that sells him the Slurpee that smells like ass? Yeah. Puts his finger oh, in wow. his ass, that guy? Whoa. Ready to rumble. That's awesome. Are you lying? No, you're making this shit up. <laughs> you're a fucking, what? You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Are you lying? I, can't, I really can't. Take do another it. hit, James. Let me know. What? Bro. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. Who? Yeah, no. Who? Dweezil or what? Ahmed? Or Ahmed Zappa. Now, I don't know who either of those two guys are, but <laughs> Ready to Rumble is a fun movie. What a good what movie. The hell? <laughs> <laughs> So they host a show called What the fuck is going on? <laughs> He's smoking, bro. <laughs> so, <Nah. laughs> Marijuana affects Sable, the memory. <laughs> Sable tries to break the bald dude's hand because he's just they're just bothering her trying to get her on their show. Ahmed. And they say, hey, can, uh, was that Ahmed, the bald one? Is oh, Ahmed, I have no Zappa? idea. Dweezil. Oh, could you stop talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> they're just saying things. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> they asked me if she could come now? on the show at 10 o'clock. Just now? And... <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time in history that you've You're just derailed the movies. show. Yeah, ready to rumble? Yeah. <laughs> just now? <laughs> yeah, you ever seen Rocky? That's in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, they ask her if she'd come on the show at 10 o'clock. It's called Happy Hour. She New says, show, Happy Hour. She says, okay. And they go, oh, yeah, hell yeah. And Sable says, I was just trying saying, okay, get out of here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyways, happy hour said to come out April third. <laughs> <laughs> we go back, Michael or sorry, Doc Hendricks. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck his name up. We'll get in trouble. So this is the WrestleMania Rage Party, and Shane interrupts and snatches the mic. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is out of his fucking mind. Shane says, "We're gonna do this Shane O'Mac style. No, we got the Meat Street Posse. That's Shane O'Mac style. <laughs> How many styles Shane, are there? <laughs> Shane O'Mac style is different, bro. <laughs> new, we got the Meat Street Posse dropped. in '99." And I heard Deborah's down there. I'm gonna go check. Adios, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Shane is out of his mind here. Holy shit. He is shit. so drunk and high at the same time. It's tremendous. Uh, the Stooges are still trying to sneak into the building. Uh, Pat Patterson has a cigarette behind his ear. I This never paid off. I don't know why he had a cigarette behind his ear. That boy Gerald chilling. Briscoe's says we're gonna sneak in uh with that behind your ear you're a horse's ass too and that pattern says says horse's ass horse's ass <laughs> which of course leads to something a later bit, there is bit. lore here yes uh michael cole with an unbuttoned shirt g- walks up to sable in one of the balcony areas one of many uh, and says, hey, I want to interview you, but you seem occupied. And Sable says, leave me the fuck alone. I'm jamming out the chocolate zombie ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sable, so Sable is doing, doing the, grind. the grind. And she says, once I get started, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
she is. It's like a, a Pringle. problem. Man. I just can't <laughs> stop doing the grind. I just can't it's stop. Right. I just can't. And this is also a situation where she is up on a balcony and no one can fucking see her. So no one's reacting to this. It's like a decent like 30 second grind sesh from Sable. She's just going to town. So uncomfortable. Yeah, she's just spamming taunts. Like <laughs> it's the same animation over and over she, and over again. She's, up there, saying, like, she's up there saying, I don't see enough movement. You know if you, <laughs> you you know in the SVR menu when they had like Sable and Tori on the SmackDown screen oh, and yeah, they yeah. just loop the same animation? That's this. <laughs> Michael Cole is actually getting scared. <laughs> he can't handle all that. What are you gonna do with that? Michael Cole? Can't do it that. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Shane could. Mean Street Posse and Deborah are hanging out in the pit. And Shane, <laughs> Shane says, he walks up to Deborah and says, Deborah, you are looking F I N E fine. Those bodacious set of tatas. Let's kick it once. <laughs> and she says, yes. She says, she yes. says okay. And they start dancing. <laughs> Shane is so fucking sick. This guy's the best. How the fuck you say you have nice tits and then you get a dance out of it? Bodacious set of tatas. <laughs> what? And he the just walked right up to her in the middle, of the, yeah. in the, middle Bro, of the crowd. You were, you were Deborah, like, Oh. Look at those fucking titties. <laughs> hey, you got those thoroughbred thighs. <laughs> those bodacious tatas. Let me see what's going on. Bro, you were, you were absolutely right, James. Shane was just living his best life. Holy shit. Had top, yeah, it has to be top 10 20s of all time. <laughs> You're, and then, he, uh, I just want everybody to understand this. He walks up to Deborah on the floor it's here. a sea of people. And Shane, with the European Championship on still, Cause you got them thoroughbred thighs and it was just tough. Oh, not not hit it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick it once. Yeah, we party alive. <laughs> and then with the, the European champion with the title, <laughs> and then the fucking Mean Street Posse all start grinding with her as well. It's just fucking insanity going on here, yeah, man. Yeah, boys. It's, <laughs> it's a re- wrestling died twenty years ago, man. <laughs> And this fucking segment ends with some woman with a headset and a paper on trying to yell at Shane to fucking get out of here. It ends with this lady going, yeah, we're clear. (laughs) Woo, yeah, tatas. Yeah, we party alive. (laughs) Oh, hell yeah. This is the most fucked up party ever, man. Tony, compared to the boy-girl parties, where is this at? Is this similar? This is not any close. We had... We had like pizza and Hawaiian punch. This isn't the rage party like that. Oh, like what the hell? Me. Dude, we were scared to talk to girls. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? That sounds We were scared sweet. to talk to girls back then, you know? Oh, my mom said I can't stay late. I got to go home. You know how it is. That's understandable, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. fair. That was, my excuse. that was my excuse every time. To not talk to girls yeah. and I had to go home? My crush was there. Oh, shit. I got to go home. Oh, man. <laughs> It's main event she time. Watch oh, ECW? I gotta go home, man. Main event time. She didn't watch 34th Street on Massacre ECW. Nah, show. man. The street light came on. You know, party's over. Girls probably didn't even know how many times Super Crazy and Tajiri faced. Yeah, that's true. She should know that. Get those yeah. statistics up. Yeah, true. You're Tony's better in there with the information. <laughs> she, did, she probably never saw one Masato Tanaka match. Yeah, no way, way off, Tony. Bro. It's the name one. Yeah. She said, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta said, go. I love <laughs> Tonka fan. <laughs> Tony said he's disgusted. He's leaving. <laughs> he hits her with the Duncan elbow. <laughs> there they go. Suck Tony, I think you just got a scorched ball. <laughs> Put him in so, your mouth. We're back on another stage, and here comes Mankind. Uh, Mankind says, "Hello, Philadelphia. I don't know if you can tell or not, but my leg is fucked up." Uh, I know we're here to have fun, but I'd like to dedicate this match to my uncle, who's trying to make a living driving a boat with a net behind it. And I haven't seen him in a while, so I guess you can say, Shrimpin' ain't easy! Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh, first, first, first he goes, first he goes, I have a knee injury. Limpin' ain't easy. Oh, it does, oh, I didn't know the limpin' one. Okay. Yeah, that, he started off with it limpin' ain't easy. He started off with limpin' ain't easy. So this is like, uh, he's trying out his stand-up for what he's going to do years yeah, later. Yeah, absolutely. He says, yeah. I visited Independence Hall, I saw the Declaration of Independence, and then I went to a small museum, and in the very back was a very rare display containing a videotape of Al Snow's last decent match. <laughs> Why you fucking Fuck. say that shit? He says, I have I've gotten sick of the rock talking about my monkey ass. You know monkeys I don't have, have asses, nice ass. by the way. I saw a picture recently, Tony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everybody knows that the monkey is a member of the primate family, making it automatically a subspecies of the chimpanzee. 
There is like 10,000 people here watching. This. Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing any of these jokes, by the way. And everybody knows, and I mean everybody knows, that chimpin' ain't easy. Dog, he, what he, is he happening? Hit, he said limping ain't easy, and I, I passed forward about <laughs> seven minutes. <laughs> I heard none of this. So oh, this I'm crazy, glad I wrote sad. it down for you. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck. You, like, you like the monkey ass line? You big guy? Yeah, these that? are awesome, yeah. man. Uh, I, wrote I can tell you, I'm, I'm in here for like an hour and a half, like drinking, having a good time, and I hear Mick Foley calls, they say, lemonade easy, and I got a knee injury. I'm sorry, <laughs> what's going on, man? I'm <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> There's a guy in the crowd, a big ass sign that says, I want hose. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get to that. Anyway, What's on behalf deal? of the WWF deal? Superstars and Al Snow, I got two words for you. Mm, beefy. <laughs> Hit my music. Fuck. And then they play the rage music. Fuck. Have a nice day. <laughs> Hit my music. Have a nice day. Rage. Yeah. Don't, you, don't you remember Mankind coming out to that? Rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's Masquerade Sagata. And, oh my God, he's on the table with the ladies. <laughs> with the ladies. Holy I'll fuck. never forget that. He should have been here, man. Oh How is he not booked God. for Mania? Ha Does anyone the have Masquerade Sagata's email? Yeah, I got his number. Oh no! Him. No, I'm done calling. <laughs> it's the move. It's the new no, way, bro. Phone calls. No, it's I not. I got some numbers. I got some numbers for you. No, <laughs> holy shit! So Godfather now shows up to the building with two of his finest hoes. He says, "I'm still waiting for two more hoes," and they look just like this. And he points to the hoes. <laughs> and when they get here, send them to the Godfather's penthouse suite. You know where that is, right? And the guy says, "Yeah, I know what it is." <laughs> and then a horse walks in. <laughs> a horse shows up, and the horse walks up to the security guard and says, "Come on, you moron! I'm trying to get into the show." And the guy says, "What do you mean you're a part of the show?" And the horse says, "What do you think? I dress like a horse to sneak into the show? Come on!" And the security guard lets them in. <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, what go the, ahead. Go what ahead. The yeah, fuck? yeah. It just lets them go. What the fuck is going on? Pat Patterson then farts in Gerald Briscoe's face, and Gerald Briscoe cannot take it anymore and gets out of the costume and says, Oh my God, you farted in my face. And the security guard says, Hold on a second. You're not a horse. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and it throws them out. <laughs> Wow. What the, what the fuck uh, is going on? There's a crazy clash in what's happening here. <laughs> there is this this stuff. Uh, you could tell that it was definitely Vince had some say, and it was this stuff. <laughs> and the rest was Shane, yeah. And then we get a performance by Big Pun. And Shane, wearing the European title the whole time, is fucking loving it. He's losing his mind. Big Pun in the house! I'm loving this! Check it out, PMS! They're just- Oh, ch check out, it's PMS! They're just too hot to look at! Go Posse! Go Posse! <laughs> <laughs> but Shane, he's on stage. I definitely he goes, didn't think he was saying Posse at first. <laughs> <laughs> Which made that crazy. That, that I was like, out. how many drinks deep is this dude in now? He, he gets on stage why and is he it goes, uncensored? He gets on stage and goes, yeah, boy, two time platinum artist representing the Bronx and the Terror Squad, big pun! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's top out of control. 10 20s <laughs> ever. Dude, hell yeah. Are you kidding me, bro? Uh, yeah, and big pun, I have not heard this song since I was me young. Me neither, bro. Uh, holy shit. Uh, which was fucking dude, crazy. Dude, there's another song um, that I heard later. I was like, holy shit, I forgot about that song. Too. Fat Joe was up there too. I don't know if you guys saw. Was him. he? Oh, Big shit. Fat yeah. Joe. Fat Joe. That's was awesome. There. That's awesome. Yeah. He, he, uh, he sings like the next song when they come back from uh, commercial. Yeah, him and Disturbed. Fat Joe song. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, mommy, no. No, no, mommy. <laughs> no, mommy. No, mommy. No. <laughs> That's awesome. So Briscoe and Patterson uh, now are arriving back uh, at the security area dressed up as hoes. And Pat Patterson's, don't you ever question me again. Oh, because they got through. They got through as the hoes. The security guard agreed that these looked similar to the other Godfather's hoes and let them in. <laughs> so Patterson says, don't you ever question me again as they're standing there dressed as hoes. Briscoe says, I look better than you and I have a wonder bra on. Security comes back in and throws them out. <laughs> Patterson's argument to get the security guard to try to keep him in there is he says, come on, my name's Barbara. I don't know why he <laughs> thought that would be convincing, yes. but that is what he did. So here comes D-Generation X. Are you ready? Making their entrance here. Are you ready? 
They come down the escalator. <laughs> and boy, do they, <laughs> they show the escalator for like ever before they come down. <laughs> And they just they just sit on it forever. The crowd's flipping out. Uh, Road Dog says, "What's up, Philly? You friggin' degenerates! Where's the mahi mahi?" I, I, I mean, Johnny was like, "Hell yeah, we're a bunch of freaks Hell out yeah. here! Fuck yeah, I'm a piece Se of shit." Seven year old Johnny would be going crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, mahi, I was telling everyone to suck my chocolate salty ball, dude. So was I. Hell yeah, boy girl parties nine nine. Triple H says, Philly, make some noise up in this bitch. <laughs> Dude, the whole time, the whole time they're walking through, I can just, cool. I just keep thinking, we're dirt, it's a pandemic, and he's walking through all these fucking yeah, Where's people. your masks? <laughs> on Earth. There'll never be another time like this. Triple H says, are you ready for the thousands in attendance and for the millions watching at home and for Philly, who are the loudest MFs I've ever <laughs> heard in my life? GFY. Let's get ready to suck it. Now, why did everyone want to get ready to suck it? What was the... They're getting ready. They're not why, going... They're just getting why ready. Why did... We, do we want to suck it? They've been sucking all night on the chocolate salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> from the start of the show. <laughs> Road Dog just does his whole spiel. And they just... Everyone just does their gimmicks and then they leave. Dude. Like, they just all hit their the, lines and leave. Watching this, I realized, fuck, x Fox never had a gimmick like that. Shit. No, he didn't have a line. He, I mean, he did the, like, uh... Make some we'll smoke your ass. Yeah, yeah, come on! <laughs> you ain't, you ain't more. <laughs> that was his thing. <laughs> so yeah, they just do all their shit and leave. Uh, Patterson and Briscoe are still not allowed in. Briscoe says, "What are my kids gonna say? What were you thinking of?" And Patterson, uh, looking at a bunch of like suit jackets, says, "Oh, that's our ticket right here." So in the, in the end, their idea was we should dress like we usually do, and they'll let us in. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. really understand what the fuck happened here. We go back, Shane is raising the roof in the corporation area. Vince is slapping Kane on the arm and saying, loosen up! <laughs> loosen they're up! They're jumping at Kane right now. Dude, Shane and Rock are ma are flinch-checking Kane. <laughs> Kane is standing there full gimmick, and she's going, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Kane does not flinch. That was, like, no. that was like me and Raleigh trying to get Johnny to drink with me. Go on, loosen up, Johnny! You're <laughs> Kane. Loosen up! <laughs> I'm taking shots, Johnny's uh, just standing there like Kane. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, bro. Leave me alone. I'm Kane. <laughs> so <I> get... <laughs> Patterson and Briscoe finally show up, and it says, "Where the hell have you been? I, uh, where, where are you? What are you been doing?" And like, oh, we couldn't get in. And he's like, "All right, well, well, I need my briefcase out of my limo right now." So they have to fucking leave again. Uh, also, Shane and Rock are clinking their belts together, <laughs> which Best is cool. Best twenties of all time. Holy shit, clanking belts with the be, Rock. Man. Vince, uh, after sending the Stooges away, turns back to Kane and slaps him on the elbow and says, hey, you gotta, you gotta loosen up, pal. <laughs> and it fades out. He's like, you like this lady over here? <laughs> <laughs> what lady? <laughs> Leave Kane alone. <laughs> Has he been through enough, bro? <laughs> Just getting started, really. <laughs> so some dude on the microphone starts saying, do you smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah, he does. And then Val Venus is music is. I wonder if that okay. guy was. I wonder if that guy just like ran up on stage and grabbed a mic because they were they were on mic stands, you know. So I wonder if he. Just... I feel like that something was amiss here, and that was like a performance that got sidetracked or something. Mm. So Val Venus comes out, hello ladies style, in the towel, Val no Venus shoes, here, no shoes, in a towel, shoeless. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this fucking guy? What the He's hell? A freak. He said, I want to introduce you, each and every single one of you, to a band that has a hell of a lot in common with the big Valbowski. <laughs> 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 Please welcome the Cherry Poppin' Daddies. What? <laughs> I do not remember Which, that name at all. Holy shit. Which no. Is a swing band, apparently. A rockabilly band. <laughs> yes. The Cherry Poppin' Daddies. I, somehow Deb knew about this. I was very suspicious. I knew this song when I heard it. <laughs> you knew the song? Yeah, when I heard this song, I was like, holy shit, this song? It was like that so one, I, it's like a one-hit wonder type song. Zoot so Zoot Crazy Riot. enough, I've heard Big Pun before. Mm -hmm, have not sure. heard Cherry Poppin' Daddies, who were the main event act of the evening. <laughs> I agree. So I'm Did assuming you know, by they the didn't, uh, yes. the radio wouldn't call Cherry Poppin' Daddies on uh, the radio that often, probably. I can't imagine so. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> Did you know, by the way, that the Cherry Poppin' Daddies had an onstage prop called the Dildozer? 
which was a riding lawnmower modified to look like a human penis that mimicked ejaculation by shooting color fluids from its tip. Did Deb tell you this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That has nothing to do with the, the question that I asked. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Lift it up. <laughs> so the Cherry Pop and Daddy performed their hit single, whatever. What is it, Tony? What's the song? Zoot Suit Riot. That was a big hit, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Why? It's like number one on the charts. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> I don't know. The last what? time I heard James say what in such a disgusted <laughs> voice before. Dude. That was genuine hatred for the fact that you knew that and what it sounded Dude, it like. What the... was it again? Zoot Suit Riot. <laughs> Zoot Suit Riot. Da, da, da. I don't know the rest of the words. Why did you just say that like you think we're supposed to know that? <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, you of course. dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top 40 charts, okay? The billboard. Fuck. You knew the lyrics, too. That's, That's dude, awesome. If you were, dude, it's just different era. You would, you would I could see you in that group. I, you might be one of the cherry popping daddies. No, I don't have an ejaculation machine or whatever the fuck you said. It's not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dildozer? <laughs> <laughs> So no dildos. <laughs> well, can we bring the dildos into DPW? That's my finisher. <laughs> That's what the jugulator right now. Holy shit! <laughs> what was the jugulator? When did we talk about that? The, the, the that little bitch. La that was last something. week. <laughs> last week the oh the baby bit. What the was little, it? Little <laughs> cut destroyer or something. <laughs> fucking jugulator. That got so sick. The bitch boy annihilator. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. Holy. That's shit. what, yeah, that's he's there calling it a dildozer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, the <laughs> wrestling's just crazy. <laughs> like, if someone asked him in the real, it's like, what's so you wrestle? What's your name? I'm the Juggalator and I'm the Bitch Boy Annihilator. <laughs> Please make sure to get that right. Bitch Boy Annihilator <laughs> on there. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, Cherry Pop and Daddy's finished their song and they say, Cherry Pop and Daddy, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We're going to bring out a special guest. And oh I'm like, all right, God. this this is, I was like, okay, they're going to bring out like fucking Al Snow or something. The fucking lights go out. Azad <laughs> oh, oh, my this fucking, dude, I love the fucking ministry. Oh dude, my god. I gosh. couldn't believe it. Holy Shake your fucking shit. ass for the dead man. Accept <laughs> the Lord of Darkness as your savior. Allow Except the purity the of evil. Balls. <laughs> Allow the purity of evil to guide you, guide you, guide you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Cherry <laughs> Pop and Daddy. <laughs> I'd like to thank <laughs> my close friends, the Cherry Pop and Daddies, for Next letting time. me borrow the dildozer. <laughs> Bring the dildozer. <laughs> Big ups to our boys, the Cherry Pop and Daddies. <laughs> Throw some ass for the dead man. <laughs> Bro, I just realized this is the night before he murders the big boss man. Oh. He kills the boss oh, man, man in one night. That match was supposed to feature the dildozer. <laughs> he was supposed to hang him and then dildoze him. <laughs> dildoze him to hell. <laughs> He's going to dildoze him to hell. Oh, he hangs dildozer. him and then goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will perform the real sacrifice. <laughs> he goes back, drives the dildozer down the ring, pummels through the on a cell. <laughs> I imagine like Stone Cold style and Zamboni, but dildozer. <laughs> Bossman's not even selling anymore in these, you know, he's just like, no, no. <laughs> Undertaker is underneath him, shooting up jizz. <laughs> While he's hanging there, his legs are kicking. He's hanging. He's, he is unable to escape the dildozing. With Zoot Suit Riot playing in the background while he's getting jizzed on. Undertaker Welcome sucks. to my gum fiesta. <laughs> Azan Timberlake style. Uh, yes. 
accept the dildozer as you say <laughs> your <laughs> in your ass. These dudes are called the cherry pop and daddies, eh? Dude, in in kayfabe, the cherry uh, pop and daddies snuck the ministry of darkness uh, uh, into the party. They're uh, part of the ministry as far as I'm concerned. Undertaker's in full gimmick and robe. <laughs> At the and party where Shane is drunk as fuck <laughs> hanging out with the boys. Viscera is also here, which is <laughs> just already a lot of trouble. Because oh, who knows God. how many Viggies he is already in. So ministry come out wow. on the dildozer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Undertaker cuts a promo about this pay-per-view that no one even knows exists right now. Boss man, within 24 hours, you become one with your destiny. Now show me your dot <laughs> <laughs> I have beads. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> the cherry pop and daddy's invited this guy. This They're still on the stage. They're not leaving. <laughs> the whole yeah. the cherry pop and daddy's do another song after this. <laughs> they got more hits. Well, 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 well Undertaker lights his sign on fire too. So there's Dude! A... <laughs> Undertaker says WrestleMania, oh. Hell in a Cell, this is your destiny. And then he does the fucking hand taunt and sets a symbol on fire above the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania a style, the pyro dripping down. A flaming cross <laughs> <laughs> above the people. <laughs> the cherry pop and daddy. Dude, wow, oh, what the hell yeah. is going on? This is so fucked. Stone Cold has now arrived in the building through the front door with a, with beer, a beer in his hand, walking with a can of beer, and he takes the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I assume after his music hits, he takes forever because he's still on the escalator. Dude, he's walking in the building with a beer, gets on the escalator. Let's get ready to rumble, Cherry Pop and Daddies. What the hell is going <laughs> We're on back. here? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so Cherry Pop and Daddies uh, are done. They say watch WrestleMania, and then Stone Cold's music hits. Uh, this is where I wasn't sure that people could fucking hear the music because everyone was just kind of like whatever. But they're probably fucked up from whatever just happened. Yeah. Uh, Austin gets on the stage and he says, "I said it before, and I'll say it again. If you're ready for WrestleMania, give me a hell yeah. Oh, you damn right." <laughs> <laughs> As far as the ref situation goes, I don't give a damn if it's Paul White. I don't care if it's Mankind. All you got to do, Paul White, you big bastard. <laughs> mankind, you crazy bastard. All you got to do is count one, two, three. Rock, you're still spitting them silly nursery rhymes. <laughs> yeah. You better leave the nursery rhymes to Dr. Seuss. Because Stone Cold's going to be on your ass. <laughs> it looks like the rock is going to fall off the balcony how angry he is. <laughs> He's just leaning over it. <laughs> Austin says, Vince, if you think I caused you a bunch of gray hairs last time I was champ, you got another thing coming. If I got to drink another beer and raise the language on TV, if I got to bring my single wide or my dildozer <laughs> and park it on your front yard, I will. And I guess there's some dude that's obviously helping run the show that's telling Austin, we have a minute left. He, please hurry he's the fuck up. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a. Please, very he's a. Please get done. Austin looks down at him, points at him. You don't got to roll me up, son. Shut up. <laughs> And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. And the show ends with Stone Cold yelling at a staff member for doing his job. <laughs> so that was the WrestleMania 15 Rage Party. Now, why do you think they didn't do another one of these? Well, that's oh. weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. It seemed to go pretty well, in my opinion. I think it yeah, was cool. Yeah, I think so. That needs to go in a time capsule somewhere. Holy shit. God, it needs to go to hell and die. <laughs> zoot, zoot style. 